hi guys welcome to another amazing tutorial using the dora software in this tutorial i'm going to be explaining how to create 3d animations with dora um dora has made it really easy to create 3d animations as you can see on your screen this is an example of what i could achieve within few minutes with um dora so this is just a simple landing page about the earth and if i scroll you can see the behavior of the earth 3d assets just changes and as I keep scrolling, it just um, changes and um, that's basically it. You can see the entire space rotating around the edge. Um, there's so many other cool stuff you can do depending on the concepts. But this is just something really quick to just show you guys how to add and how to work with 3D um, animations and keyframes. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is the new landing page of the Dora software. As mentioned in the last video, the Dora software is going to update its landing page. And as you can see, this is another really cool animation um, that was achieved with the Dora software. So if you're planning on creating things that are heavily or websites that are heavy on animation transitions, trust me, you really want to use the Dora software. So you can see there is some sample templates here and um, you can get started with all that easily but without further ado let's dive right into our main focus for today so i'm going to quickly log into my dashboard um, and this is what your dashboard is going to look like so um i do have some existing project and this particular um this particular project was done in the file that we used for our previous project so which is this um, design landing page here by the I, um, outcrowd.io and just like i mentioned in the last video we are going to be working on other pages of this but that will come later right because i really need to make you guys understand the concepts of keyframes and how to add animations and all of that so i'm going to just log out from this page and I'm going to leave this out and I'm going to come into my dashboard here and I'm going to just create a new project and we can call this 3D animation tutorial and basically we are just going to be recreating this particular um, landing page from this particular design just so that we get the concepts of how to work with 3D animations so after creating your file you can open it up with it which is going to open up an empty canvas for us um, if you're not familiar with this um, interface you might want to watch my last video to get yourself familiar with the basics of dora but basically this video is about adding 3d and working with 3d animations so the first thing you want to do is to bring in your 3d assets right and there are a couple of 3d formats that dora accepts i'm going to share the link in the description so that you can look at those formats I'm going to click on this cube here that says 3D, which lets us insert a 3D animation. Then I'm going to draw out the section where I'm going to be adding a 3D asset. You're going to see this import 3D model button by default. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to bring in my 3D asset, which is this edge.glb. This is an extension for 3D assets that Dora accepts. I'm going to open it up and you're going to see my 3D edge right on the canvas. So once you have this, sometimes you might have a live 3D asset or just the regular one. And this is a live one because it can um, automatically um, move itself. So if I come to the right hand part of this, you're going to see 3D animation. You can turn on the checkbox to know if yours is live or not. Um, you might also um, be aware of that before this. But once you check it on, you're going to see that this edge asset starts spinning, right? You can also make some changes to, um, let's say, the speed. Once you click on it, you can increase the speed to like 5. And you can see that it's spinning much faster. So I'm going to reduce the speed to 0.4, for instance. And I'm going to close up this panel. So you can also um, edit how your 3D asset looks like by zooming in. Or out if you're using a mac you can just pinch in or out in your trackpad or even if you're using a pc 
or you're using a mouse pad you can just pinch in and out of your trackpad and you can also click anywhere in the environment and move um, your mouse to change the camera setting of that particular 3d object so i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to click on this done button here to exit um, this 3d change mode so i'm going to click on done and it's going to just give us a regular um, canvas back so i'm going to zoom out to start working with your 3d assets you need to be really familiar with keyframes right so keyframes um, is this little panel here you have the keyframe panel once you click on this it's going to bring out the keyframe panel i'm going to explain how this works but to be able to properly use your keyframes right and to be able to change the behavior of your objects be it text or 3d um, at particular interval you might want to increase the size of your landing page so here as you can see there is no scrolling if i click on this i'm going to change it to vertical scrolling as you can see the landing page is now larger you can also increase the size if you want i'm just going to drag it down a little bit and here we have a landing page so you can also see this blue outlined area that says viewport this viewport is basically your desktop view right and once you scroll on your page this what changes basically is your viewport so if you look at this indicator down here in this keyframe section that says zero if you move it all the way to the right you're going to see that your viewport changes this indicates the different views you're going to be getting as you keep scrolling on your landing page so i'm going to return this back to zero and to start working with your 3d animations before you create a behavior or you want to change the look or you want to create an animation to a text or an object you want to create a keyframe on it first the very first thing you want to do is to add a keyframe on that particular layer be it a text an image or a 3d asset so i'm going to select this uh, layer here which is this 3d asset we just brought in and i'm going to click on this plus icon to say that says add keyframe to add a keyframe on a 3d asset so i'm going to click on this once i do that you're going to notice a diamond here where we have this um, line which indicates that there is a keyframe on this as on this 3d assets in this particular position now i'm going to change the viewport i'm going to move it all the way to the right which also means that once the user scrolls down by this time the user have scrolled and they are now looking at this particular section of the page um, what i want to do at this point is to add another keyframe to this widget here so i'm going to click on the add keyframe um, diamond on the left here and at this particular keyframe what i want to do is to change the position and the size of this 3d asset so i'm going to bring it down to this viewport and i'm going to increase its size i'm going to hold shift and just increase the size of this okay so once we have this we have um a 3d asset very large and um bigger at this particular viewport and once we are at the beginning of the page it's a lot smaller so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on a preview so that we can have a preview of this little change we just made i'm going to wait a while so that it's lost okay so this is what you're going to get on your preview so as i scroll down you're going to see that the size or the scale of this 3d asset increases so that's basically how um, these keyframes work. So from here, what I want to do now is to, um, for now, I'm going to delete these keyframes and I'm going to introduce um, a text. So I'm going to hit T on the keyboard or you know what, I'm just going to paste 
um, the text in here and I'm just going to put it at the top of this a little bit and I'm going to move this um, world image to the bottom a little bit so I want to increase this I'm just going to zoom in and I think this is perfect so I'm going to take this and move it um, to the bottom a little bit I'm also going to try and increase the size so it's a lot bigger than it used to be so I'm going to um, open up this preview to see what this looks like so right here we have just a simple text and um, this world here that is spinning so I'm going to select this and down in our designs I've also changed the frame to this MacBook Pro 16 here to just make it a little bit larger so basically what I want to do is um, at zero obviously we want, I want to create a keyframe on this so I'm going to click on the keyframe tool and at 100 I want to add another text on this so I'm going to click on the text tool so after adding this text to our design the next thing I want to do is at this 100 viewport here I want to create another keyframe on this um, 3d widget so I'm going to click on this add widget, add keyframe and once I add the keyframe I'll make sure to not move this indicator I'm just going to take this particular 3d um, asset and move it just to the side of this um, section here where we have this text and I'm also going to scale it down a little bit so that it just fits perfectly on the side so now um, once we scroll from this top to this bottom we are going to experience a reduction in the size of this so if I move this down you'll see what I'm talking about just like this and this is exactly the kind of effects we want and this is exactly the use of keyframes so I'm going to go back to our page and I'm going to reload And as you can see, once I scroll down, you can see that the um, the Earth 3D asset shrinks and reduces in scale up to this very point, which is super cool. There's so many cool things you can do with these 3D effects. Um, if you, I'm going to drop a link in the description where you can get free 3D assets um, that allows you to play around with this so that you can understand the concepts. Um, subsequently we are going to be doing a lot more complex stuff this video is just to give you a basic knowledge of how to add 3d animations to your landing page so um, looking at our example design we do have like a dark background so I'm going to change the feel of this to um, black I'm also going to select the entire text and make it white so that it's visible. I'm going to select this also. I'm going to make it white so that it's visible. I'm going to just fit this text in the container and give it a color of white. So I can now change the background to a solid black. Now this is looking more like it. So also what I want to do at this zero uh, viewpoint, that is at our header section, which is this first landing page, I also want to bring in another 3D asset. So after turning off the visibility of uh, 3D, so after turning off the visibility of our second 3D widgets and changing the background, I'm going to click on this 3D icon once more, and I'm going to draw out um, a second section where we are going to be importing our second 3d model which is going to be this simple galaxy simulation here i'm going to click on open to open it up and once we have this we can see we also have this option to turn on the check for the action which i'm going to turn on and as you can see the um, rotation around this 3d object i'm going to click on this i'm also going to reduce this to 0.6 um, so that it's not so fast um, 
which is still very fast so i'm going to do 0 0.4 which is what we use for the initial one so as you can see this is very zoomed in i'm going to just pinch in so that i can zoom out a little bit and once i'm zoomed out to the perfect position um that i like i'm just going to click on this done button i'm also going to turn on the visibility of the initial world 3d assets we had and i'm going to make sure i um, rearrange the layers i'm going to move the layer of the second one which is this galaxy um, 3d assets below the first one so that the edge comes on top of it and basically um, this is what you get so for this second asset which is the galaxy asset what i want to do is i want to um, set its constraints to the viewport what i mean is i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to set this connect this dot to the viewport dot here right i'm going to do that for all four sides and i'm doing this so that um once we are changing the viewport of this page i'm going to select this viewport top the galaxy image which is this background bubbles that are moving around stick together with the initial um sticks together on the page you're going to understand what i mean um in a bit so i'm just going to do this for all four sides of this viewport and once i do that i'm going to go back to our preview i'm going to reload and you're going to see um, what we just did here. So once I scroll, you're going to notice that our galaxy follows with the viewport even without having to add a keyframe because we have constrained it to the viewport. So this is a simple sample of how to create um, an animated 3D page. And you can also look for more interesting 3D assets based on the product landing page and of course you can do things that are way more amazing than this you can create more cool effects you can add your keyframes on your text and also images as you might like it subsequently i'm going to be doing a more comprehensive video on this but i really wanted this to be quick and short within uh, a very short time so that um, you can quickly understand this so thanks for watching and i am definitely going to see you in my next video if you want the link um, i'm going to drop a link to the 3d assets i used so that you can also use this as text practices and i'm going to see you in my next video bye